Hey everybody, this is Captain Bob Chase with Dream On Charters here in Fernandina Beach, Amelia Island, Florida. Uh, today is Thursday, January 17, 2013, and here's our fishing report. Well, we've, we're still having these storms pass through here. There are two or three days of rainy weather, followed by a couple days of uh, nice sunny stable weather, followed by a couple more days of rain. So, uh, matter of fact, we're just coming out of one of those periods right now. Today it's starting to uh, get real windy out there and starting to rain. Uh, we're supposed to get rain for the next day or two and then it's going to clear up again and get cooler. So uh, consequently it makes it a little challenging finding these fish because they're moving around quite a bit with the weather changes. What we are finding though is when we have a few days of sunny weather that these, these fish are get up on these flats and they will, they will feed on the edges, outside edges of the channels and the, uh, towards the channel and on the outside edges of the mud flats on the um, outgoing tide. And as the tide pulls back up onto the, onto the flats and up into the Spartina grass, we're able to follow them up into that grass or, or up at the edges of the grass and also on the inside edges of the oyster beds between the grass and, and the uh, outside there. So uh, it just all depends on our situation. We just have to hunt them, hunt them down a little bit. And once we find them, we'll catch a few and then we'll have to move again because these, these fish are generally schooled up this time of year. And you'll, you'll find a few real quick and then you'll have to move again and just start looking for them. Um, our wet water temperatures are between 58 and 62 degrees right now. Um, typically what I do is I'm watching for water temperature changes. I want to I want to try to find the warmest water I can at this time of year. It's really critical. I'll get up on the edges of these flats and where these drainage ditches come out of the uh, out of the grass itself and come out. You'll actually find the water temperature three or four degrees warmer sometimes and it's really critical um, being able to present your lures differently and you can fish a little quicker and cover more water that way as well. Plus the fish are biting a little better. Um, it's just it's we have a lot of mud flats here and, and they warm up with the, with the sun if we have a couple stable days um, the water warms up pretty pretty well so right now it's the water temperature is around 62 degrees um, I'm gonna show you a few of the baits that we use one of the baits right here is the DOA shrimp I'm sure everybody knows the DOA shrimp this one is the near clear with the chartreuse tail it mimics uh, white shrimp which we have in this area this time of year during the winter we have white shrimp up here they have, if you ever see one, it has a chartreuse kind of tinge to the tail, and this, this imitates it really well. Um, on sunnier days, up on those same flats, you may want to try the copper crush color, which is right here. And this, it has a little orange in it, a little bit of gold in it. Uh, I don't know if that gold or orange reflects this light a little bit. I'm sure it probably does, and it just gives it a really natural presentation. Between these two baits here, they, they work pretty well, so uh, you, sh you should be able to get something going with one, either one of those. Um, if we're going to a bait fish imitating bait, I like to use the silver mullet. I believe this is the color number is 407 from DOA. This is a DOA cow. I think it's number 407. Um, put it on an eighth ounce or quarter ounce head. Generally up here we're fishing on a quarter ounce head for, for a lot of our fishing for the fact that we have so much current. Uh, we, have a, we, have some of the, we have the biggest tides in Florida. We have six to eight feet of tide every day. So it's, it really rips through here at certain times, especially with the wind behind it pushing it. So. Um, Unless we're fishing some super shallow water, less than about two feet or so, I'll usually use a quarter ounce head on these and up to three eighths of an ounce sometimes, just to be able to control the lure when you when you cast it to your not so much for the wind, but just when you cast it and it hits the water column, that current pushes so fast that you can't get down to the um, sometimes the stuff you're trying to target with it. So if a little bit heavier lure helps uh, helps out there, um, that color works particularly well for trout and for redfish. We also have this color here is gold. It's, it's the clear with the gold flake in it. Again, on the sunny days, kind of like we did with the DOA shrimp, this one works really well on the sunny days. I don't know if it's just a reflection of sparkle in there, but they, they seem to respond to that pretty well. Um, so if you guys would like to go fishing with us, we'd love to have you. You check out our website. It's www.dreamoncharters.com. There's more information on there. And uh, we're, we're booking trips for the spring now, so um, we have some deals available, but you have to call up and find out. Some of them are advertised, some of them aren't, so you just have to call up and find out. But again, just check out our website, www.dreamoncharters.com. I'm Captain Bob Chase. Thanks for watching.